If you have woken up this morning feeling like you would rather stay in bed than go to work, then you are not alone. One in three Brits admits to pulling a sickie, which is costing UK business £9 billion a year. Mm. Michelle Morrison's been finding out about the most common excuses for calling in sick. Across Britain, workers take an average of seven sickies a year. Hello. Hi, I'm in Lynn today. I'm at the by Yeah, I've uh, started the menopause. Um, I lost my clothes. These are some of the excuses which have actually been given by employees. Yeah. So why are people really lying to their bosses? 32% of people have a hangover. 11% of people are enjoying the good weather. 8% of people are watching sporting events. We went to ask members of the public if they've ever pulled a sickie. But warning, we've disguised the identities of the following people were requested to protect their future careers. A while ago, I, um, <laughs> I said that my cat had run away. The cat was actually sat on my lap at the time. <laughs> I took a sickie the, the day after um, England got knocked out of the World Cup. You know, I needed a day to recover. I have called in today sick. You're on a sickie today? I am, yes. Caught out. <laughs> have you ever thrown a sickie? No. <laughs> Are you telling the truth? No. <laughs> well, at least she's honest with us anyway. Michelle Morrison, Good Morning Britain. Well, Michelle is at a company in Hertfordshire, which, Michelle, claims it has the solution. So what is it? Well, this company's secret is that in a kind of roundabout way, it actually allows sickies. Let me give you a couple of examples of that. This is Steve. Let's say Steve woke up this morning with a raging hangover, yeah? Um, instead of calling in sick for the whole day, what he can actually do is, as long as he comes in between the core hours of 11 and 2 and makes the rest of the hours up over the course of the week, it means that he can stay in bed this morning and enjoy that hangover. Now, another good example is over here, Jason. It's Jason's birthday today. Happy birthday, Jason. Thank you. Because he's worked here for more than six months, it means he gets an extra half-day holiday, either today or tomorrow, to help him celebrate his birthday. And I'm imagining that'll mean... Uh, can, he can avoid all these awkward conversations with the boss in the morning. Now, talking of the boss, good morning, Sid. Good morning, Michelle. You're doing something right here, aren't you? Because the average number of sickies in the UK is seven, yep. um, but you've cut it down to 1.7 days a year. What, what are you doing right here? Indeed. Well, at Clocks a Digital Agency, we've designed our websites. Um, we've been doing that uh, flexible working uh, policy since our inception as a Prince's Trust startup in 1997. Uh, we detail those benefits in our little book of benefits. And uh, it's about giving people trust and responsibility. If you give them trust and responsibility, they're generally trustworthy and responsible. Well, you say that. You would say that because you're the boss. But let's uh, go and get the, the real info from, the, uh, from one of the employees, Ben. Come on, the employees must take advantage sometimes, don't they? Yeah, I get asked that one, that one quite a lot. Um, as Sid says, um, there's quite a lot of trust placed in us as, as employees. Um, and for me, anyway, I feel like I'd be kind of abusing that trust and doing myself injustice if I was to take, take advantage. Well, I think, actually, I find out the real reasons why people come in. Uh, the, the boss, Sid, has made us all a full-cooked English breakfast this morning, so why on earth wouldn't they come in? Yes. <laughs> that would get most people out of bed and into work, I think. <laughs> it's a lovely idea. Michelle, thanks very much indeed.